what's up everyone? So I just got back into town from Columbus. I was up there for work. I am very, very happy to be sharing with you a pretty awesome toy haul. There's no footage of any kind of hunt whatsoever. So this is all haul, but this will probably set up some showcase videos in the very near future because I got a lot of stuff that I really want to kind of show you, take out a box, show you up close because this stuff is pretty awesome. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. I want to start with some internet purchases. So there was recently a coupon on eBay for I think it was 20% off or 15% off or something like that. And I used it for this Mezco Shazam figure. Purchased this one. I got this one actually all the way from Australia. The, uh, the seller was out in Australia. Uh, I think I paid uh, $90 or $95 for it, but really, really happy to pick this one up. Again, I wasn't gonna pick this one up, but uh, I picked up the Black Adam, and I saw the pictures from the Shazam movie. It kind of intrigued me, so I decided to pick this one up. So another Mezco DC figure. Once again, it is Shazam. And when I do this showcase, I'll actually show you the Shazam and the Black Adam together. Uh, another internet purchase is this guy right here. I didn't think I was going to be able to find this one, but uh, I was just searching Amazon a couple days ago, and I saw a seller on Amazon selling for 110 bucks. Uh, retail on this, I think it was 80 or 90, 85 maybe. It's a PX Previews exclusive Stealth Deathstroke. I already have the regular Deathstroke, but I really liked the way this one looked when I started seeing reviews of it online. So I really wanted it, but that thing went fast. Uh, it sold out quick. Big Bad Toy Store sold out. It went back on there a couple times for like 140 bucks. So when I saw it for 110 on Amazon with free shipping with Prime, I jumped on it. All right, now let's get to the actual stores that I visited. The first store that I visited was uh, Easter weekend. I think it was Saturday morning I went there. Alter Ego Comics in Lima, Ohio. I had pre-ordered this one and it came in. This is the PX Previews exclusive Mezco X-Force. Wolverine and this thing looks awesome. They added some additional detail to the gray on the side of the uniform and some lines and it looks really cool. So when I do this showcase I will show you the tiger stripe version, the brown suit version and this version all together. Show you the differences between the three of those and um, do kind of like a little comparison. So there is a Marvel Mezco figure to add to the collection X-Force Wolverine. We decided to go shopping on, uh, I think it was Saturday, when we went up to visit my in-laws, uh, Mrs. Cincy's parents, and we went to the mall, and I found some stuff there. I was not expecting to find anything at all at this mall. It's not a super big mall. It's, it's kind of out in the country. But uh, went to Best Buy, and because I had seen some people saying, hey, Cincy, check out Best Buy if you're looking for the... Infinity War Marvel Legends wave because they're starting to get those figures in. And I was like, okay, I'll check it out. This is the smallest Best Buy I've ever been in. It's like a really super small Best Buy. Went back in the figure section and guess what I found? Bam! One of the figures I needed. So Iron Spidey with that Thanos leg. This is the second to last figure I need to complete my Thanos, uh, the Infinity War wave. The last figure I need is Captain America, and I think Nate Simmons is sending me one in a trade. So hopefully I'll be able to put a head on Thanos soon and complete that build a figure, but really, really excited to pick this one up. Yes, I wish that he would have had the arms in the back, but uh, I still like this figure a lot. It still looks really cool with that new uh, uniform. I also went to GameStop, and at GameStop, on all of their collectibles. It was 30% off of the sticker price. So this was originally marked at 80 bucks. 30% uh, off was marked down to $56. I went to the register and the guy said, if you buy this white bag, it was basically like a little fabric GameStop bag. If you buy this white bag for five bucks, we'll take an additional 25% off this. So I actually came out ahead. I spent an extra five bucks on the bag, which I'll probably never use again. And it took 25% off of this, bringing this down to like $49. So I got the four pack. I finally got this four pack. This right here is the reason I really wanted this four pack, this Praetorian Guard here. Because I have the other two Praetorian Guards. I have the regular issue, I have the Amazon issue. But I wanted this guy really bad. So I finally got him. 
I got the Shadow Guard, I got another em Emperor's Royal Guard, and I got this guy, the, uh, whatever he's called, Senate Guard? Senate Guard. I got him, too. So there you go, four pack, $49. I think I got a pretty good deal on that four pack. That brings us to my recent trip up north to Columbus for work. I was there Monday and Tuesday. I went to Toys R Us again. I picked up these two guys right here. So I got the Dustin, I got the Lucas. These are the McFarlane Toys, Stranger Things figures. Pretty awesome. I saw these guys at Toy Fair and I immediately wanted them. They both look great. I'm gonna take a hair dryer or something to them to make sure I don't snap the limbs because they are McFarlane toys, kind of like NECA toys. You gotta really loosen up those limbs before you start articulating them. But I'm really looking forward to that Demogorgon. The Demogorgon looks fantastic. And look, there's some more characters we're getting. We're getting a Will, a Mike, a Barb, a Goth 11, and a Steve. So there you go, more characters. I love these things. These are really, really cool. I love the likenesses. There's the Dustin. But uh, I might do, I don't know, I might throw these in part of a showcase and because I already have the Hopper and the other 11, so I might show you these next to those just to, for comparison's sake. And then that brings us to Meyer. I went to Meyer because I heard that they're getting some new Transformers figures in, some Studio Series Transformers I was not expecting to find what I found there. First things first, here's the appetizer. I found a Stinger. So these guys are pretty much selling out everywhere. As soon as they're hitting the shelves, they're selling out. They're sold out online. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's a new mold. It's a new figure, but I got the Stinger. So he looks pretty awesome. And he is from Age of Extinction. He's one of the, like, the drone uh, Transformers that Galvatron controlled. But here is the real catch. Bam. I got the Studio Series Grimlock. This video right now... What you're watching right now, does this figure zero justice? I look at this thing, it looks amazing. The paint on this, even if you hated the movies, the paint on this thing, the detail on this thing, the sculpting, it looks incredible. Incredible. It's like a metallic blue, metallic gray. The paint's immaculate. I've got to say, not counting masterpiece figures, I think that these Studio Series figures, at least the leader class ones, are the best Transformers they've ever produced for the movies. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments what was better than these things. When you see these things in person, they look amazing. So I got Grimlock. This is the one that I really, really wanted from the wave. From the first Transformers movie, leader class blackout, and he looks amazing. Uh, amazing. This thing is big, it's got size. Look at that thing. It's got lots of detail, great paint. It's got a Scorponok right there. These Studio Series figures do not sleep on these things. These are awesome. Very, very awesome. So happy to pick these up. I'm looking for the Starscream still. That's a Voyager class figure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick up any of the other deluxes. There you go. That is the entire haul. I got three Mezcos. A Marvel Legends figure, a Black Series set of four, three Transformers, including two Leader Classes, and two McFarlane Stranger Things figures. But that's the haul, guys. That's this video. Uh, I might take some of these out of package and show you these uh, right before I roll the credits. But thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I absolutely appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, have fun collecting.